in preparation for the rulon. I'm sweating out oil from uh, the casting. Not that it is so much in here because it's already been milled, of course. But anyway. Then brush off um, or rinse with the um, brake cleaner. Okay. I'm doing the same on these afterwards, the cut out and this also, but th that is later, later application on the other side there, on the rear, I mean, to convert it to a wide guide. But anyhow, this is later. I do one step at a time, so take the horizontal surfaces first. Now I want to scratch up this surface as much as possible. And then the epoxy resin and hardener, um, five to one. I will try to pour it here <coughs> and then um, move it later. We'll see how that goes. I need to soak the, um, let's say, uh, the pieces I'm going to have on top in oil, plus have some paper in between. Otherwise, I'm, it's going to be stuck here forever. So, um, and as you can see, use too much epoxy, so there will be a lot of cleaning up afterwards. I tried several uh, versions of this, uh, but uh, thought that, okay, I'll try to use this at this place. Yeah, okay, good. Then some glue. It's not to be expected not to spill something here, but uh, uh, I have then I'm using these um, pieces here with paper and also then with um, some uh, grease on. So um, whatever I'm spilling out or let spill over here it will hopefully be um, taken care of. And then one of these. Paper. Down there. The other one here, same. We have uh, coverage, yes. Yes. And now comes the hard part. Now we want to clamp this down. And then the question remains then how? So I think I'll use two equal pieces here and then something that. Uh, Either it's heavy or I can use this to clamp down. I mean, the, I can use the milling head itself um, as a force, a downwards force. The only parallels I have, big enough and quite heavy, um, can be put on top here. 
I guess, like so. And then clamping down on those. Found a piece of wood and I've clamped using the, just tracking up the table. So I'm ready to pull off this, um, of the curing time. See, there's some, something to clear up here. The blue is uh, stuck. So just uh, gently pull those. Those aren't stuck, good. And then I have some clearing up to do here, of course. It's a mess, of course, here, but um, it is um, to be cleaned up. I didn't have grease, at least, so that it doesn't stick too much and uh, also here I uh, the grease so uh, that's a bit greasy at the moment so it's just a matter of cleaning up now to get down to this and then we'll measure how flat I uh, managed to get it I've done this quite a few times by now and then I must say with the added grease here on the paper it uh, really was better than uh, most times before so I'll try to remember that, to use that. I'm just uh, trying to be careful, a uh, knife, and then also secure it. So I'll just lightly scrape here to get rid of the excess glue. And to, as you can see, edge of the material. but. Remember, be very careful because uh, it's a, an expensive material and uh, quite uh, a lot of labor into this. So, for the most part, it just flakes off rather easily. Like this. course one thing that I can't be too concerned about is if I have to paint this again which I probably will that also means that you could probably leave the cosmetics I mean painting until you're finished with the, the roughing stage or the uh, I mean like scraping and this with applying the rule on all this mess and there is obviously a lot more cleaning up to do and um, uh, re-bore the holes for the oil and uh, the oil passages here but at least I've cleaned up the, the bottom here so that uh, you can see over here if we have been let's say doing how good we are doing initially so the, this is the initial Let's say uh, blowing up. I'm not expecting it to blow up at all, really. Um, uh, merely just uh, putting it down without too much rock. It actually didn't rock. So far, so good. As you can see, apparent no contact, so um, that's to be expected also, at, uh, at least, see here, it's only at the very, very edge. So now I'm just, I uh, just want to measure, plus two. And 
two or three. So I am well within um, um, five hundredths of a millimeter uh, on the pads here. Um, the clamping then, I think this was the best I, I ever made. Uh, so I will adopt that uh, procedure.